and welcome back to another video that is me growing stuff in pots. There's the stuff, there's the stuff, hoorah. And it is early morning again. It is a little bit sunnier today. We are completely in the middle of winter and it is freezing. My water temperature is 14.5, which is 58.1 Fahrenheit. That is pretty cold. Obviously goldfish love the cold. I think it's been about what, three weeks or so since I've set this system up. So this is just aquaponics, obviously, goldfish. We have a huge biofilter there, which looks like that biofilter, but it's hidden there. And I have a tiny, tiny little pump. So these are, yeah, little pumps in there. And that pump is powering this little grow bed here. Well, it's just pipes that you can get from uh, eBay, they've been painted black just with non-toxic spray paint just to stop the sun from breaking it down. Otherwise the cheap sort of pipe stuff you can get from eBay will get broken down pretty quick in the sun. Yes, well it sort of looks like that, that white bit there. So that is what it sort of looks like when you get it. So if you don't paint it, I'm pretty sure it's only going to last about six months in the sun. This system is sort of undercover so it gets early morning sun for about four or five hours and then it's sort of semi-shade which I think is another issue. My lettuce are starting to look like lettuce. Check that out. That's not too bad for a lettuce. So these are feeding off completely just all the new, completely yes, these are feeding off all the nutrients from the goldfish so well it's actually the bacteria breaking down the chemical waste from the goldfish and they're feeding off the phosphates the nitrites. One issue I do have and I don't know if any aquaponics people can actually tell me how to do this, is the goldfish and the plants are sucking up so many trace elements and minerals out of the water that my water keeps dropping in GH. A right pain. So yeah, I think I need to add more water volume. So this tub here, which I think, these are, I keep saying, yeah, I think they're about an 800 litre tub roughly, give or take. So I was just looking at the 700 litres down there. So about 800 litre tubs. I think I need to join up another one or two just to give me more water volume. But then again, I'll need more fish for it. This system, which I haven't even got set up yet, I did get some more goldfish. So instead of just normal comets, we got some lovely, what are they? Ranchus in there. I think there is a big white comet that goldfish that you can see in the top of your screen I think is about five or six years old it's probably about how big are you nine inches so what's that 20 centimeters give or take this is a big tub by the way this is five foot diameter it's 150 centimeters but yeah we've got a few cool little goldfish in there there's some arandas in there as well now, the annoying thing with that is, I do want a heap of them, but they do cost a little bit too much. They're like $30 retail, some of these fish, apart from the big white goldfish, which was just a free goldfish. I'm pretty sure I've got a couple of people that need to donate their bigger goldfish soon, so I need to make room for them and I'll just pump water around and have an extra tub. I don't want to put them with any of my goldfish just so that I can quarantine them in that. They are all wanting food at the moment, look at them. But the whole idea of this system, with the goldfish in here, huge Murray Cod in there, which we'll see if he wants to lurk around as well. Where is he? He was heavily fed yesterday. No, we can never see him. There he is there. That fish there, you can kind of make him out. There he is. He is around about 70, 80 centimetres. Again, this is a huge, huge tub. I want to put him in a bigger pool. He's a crazy fish, awesome fish. They will get huge. So Australian native, if you've never seen a Murray Cod before. But talking about this system. So those two are hooked up to this lettuce system here. These are not going as well as those lettuce. And I think there's a couple of issues why. Obviously the sun hasn't woken up yet. It is up there again. Once it hits there and it hits my solar panel, this is solar, so the pump will pump the water all through that. They're a lot better than they were about a week ago, but they're still taking absolutely ages to grow. We've got good roots. There's a nice lettuce. I think there's an iceberg lettuce. These lettuce are obviously a different 
species, I was going to say. Well, technically, different strain. They're not a different species. They're all lettuce. <laughs> but they, I think because they get the water pumping through 24 hours a day, and this water only pumps through uh, maybe about six or seven hours, not getting enough water flow. So what I might do is actually get rid of the solar pump on this and just hook up a small pump so it's going 24 hours a day and see if it makes a difference. I think the other issue I've also got is this system has a ton more fish. There's about 160 goldfish in there now. They are producing a ton of chemical waste, so the biofilter is pumping out your NO3, which is feeding all these plants, where there's only a big Murray cod, but it is eating about a kilo of food a week, which is not much for a big fish, but it is a cold water fish, so it does a slow metabolism. And the goldfish in there have only just been put in there, so I haven't fed them overly much. So what we're going to do is find some food for them. Oh, uh, what are we feeding them? We are feeding them that stuff. That is actually not tropical flake. That is cold water flake in a tropical flake thing. But they are hungry little buggers. So they're eating a fair lot of food. And obviously the more food I put in this system, the better it is for the bacteria to break down all the chemical waste. But the other system, because it doesn't have as many fish, obviously not as much chemical waste. Yeah, I don't want to crash the system as well and put too many goldfish in at once. I think I do have another 20 or so fancy arandas turning up this week. So if I slowly build it up, it should be okay. Maybe I should hook that system to this system and then see what growth it is in a week. If you reckon I should do that, comment down below. And then as I build the fish up in that system, hook it back up to that system. But that is a possibility. I should easily be able to just turn that around and have it hooked into this system. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure, but so far, so good. We're just getting our first morning sun on our lettuce. Our fish are doing nibbles. I think I shall. I still have to sort this tub out. At the moment, there is no fish in that tub. Need to put more circulation in that. Hmm, so maybe if I have the pump in there, pumping the water into that and back into that, that'll help. I will feed these little guys. They're a little bit slower to the food because they are newer fish and they're not used to the whole settled outside eating thing. There's the big white one. But anyway, if you were going to do aquaponics and eat the fish, obviously silver perch, baku grunters, stuff like that. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm a vegetarian. Well, not unfortunate for the fish. I'm not going to eat goldfish. You probably could eat goldfish, but yeah, we are not doing that. But I thought just a quick update on this. Oh, we should go all the way into the garden and check out the dodgy little system that I've rigged up. It's only being fueled by native tadpoles that are in a little pond, but the lettuce have germinated. So let's jump over there. And have you ever seen anything as dodgy as this setup? Yeah. So it's sitting in an old aviary. Obviously there's no birds here anymore. <sighs> They're kind of holding on. I think maybe there was a bird out there somewhere. I think maybe I will move this whole system. There is, there's a bird on the roof. <laughs> Bloody doves. Yeah, I think I might move this system, but it seems to be okay. So, oh, okay, maybe it's not okay. Oh, those poor little lettuces, they carved it. Well, that's interesting. I think the water pumps along and down. Ah, oh, I know what's happened. Wow, check that out. Okay, all those are dead and all those are dead because when the system is turned off, it's on a stupid angle, so the water stays in the pipe, but it doesn't stay in that bit. Yep, bone dry. Wow, what a fail. <laughs> Whoops. Unfortunately, I didn't even notice that when I set it up. So that's why it's important to have it level. Oh dear. Well, we can't save those now. We're just going to see how these go. But how bizarre that that layer and that layer are going fine. And it's only these little ones here. Yeah, there is water in the bottom. It wasn't pushed all the way down. You're wet, so you're surviving. 
Anyway, that is this mess. Tadpoles, they can come and go. Well, the frogs do. Yeah, it was just a fun gimmicky thing. Let's jump to the front of this. Okay, this is outside and that is the tiny, tiny little pump that is powering that when the sun hits it. Oh well, I had extra seeds, they went in that. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna rig that system up to the fish that you just saw. But a little bit of a fail, but we'll just ignore it. Hopefully no bugs will get in there and wipe them out because I don't really look at them. But let's go back to the goldfish. Ah, a total fail. <laughs> Okay, this is looking so much better compared to that system now that I'm looking at the system. But if you've got any ideas on what I should do with that, either just move it to this system for the time being or just let it ride out and see how quick these develop compared to those, that might be a, a bit exciting. Yeah, comment down below if you've got any questions about that or suggestions. My goldfish are still munching, may have overfed them, but that's okay. We want nitrates. Got enough bacteria in our filter to break down any ammonia. But that is where we are. So that is a quick update with this system. Seems to be working pretty okay. I think as those letters get too big for that system, I don't even know if they're gonna get too big for this system now. Like, let me see their roots. Hardly any roots, which is kind of bizarre. But they are little seedlings. I'm pretty sure as they grow, they're going to completely clog those pipes. But as I said in the last video, I do have a plan on doing a bigger system super, super quick and hooking it up to some of those pools out there. Yeah, I think it works better with the water going through 24 hours a day as opposed to on and off. Maybe it's just off too much at night, that system. But anyway, quick update. If you enjoyed this video, click the thumbs up and I will make more and watch stuff on the screen. That is all the other gardening videos and bits and pieces because there's tons more than just this stuff. Anyway, see you next one.